In Stalingrad, you never wait to see if the mark has been hit. You use the recoil of your rifle to roll your shoulder as you pivot 365 degrees in search of safety. Midair, you pull the bolt in search of another shell. As you hit the ground, if you hear the bolt snap home, you are still alive. They know where you are now, so wait. The shots will ring out, or there will be silence. The enemy is a phantom. I am without body. When I need substance, I die. Gone are the days of proud marching. Gone are the high-step days when my arms swung in hopeful rhythm at my side. My rifle no longer rests upon my shoulder. My shoulder rests upon my rifle. Life clings to the stalk crawling along behind the barrel. When I walk, four fingers drag upon the ground, smelling the way ahead, a hound on a scent. I have not seen a man in years. This was once a city, these ruins, homes, hopeful ideals and new beginnings, the first shots, principles drilling through the war of air. Once, before all was rubble, a time before, we pulled a piano from a target as the shells dance around us. We were innocent then, when the building still stood. The piano, we placed it in a courtyard under a tree upon a carpet of stemless leaves torn by the shock of explosion. Only a direct hit could reduce it to ground cover here. Back then, we put our faith in the odds. I saw it yesterday, the piano. Or maybe it was a week ago. The machine of linear music stood unscratched, its silence audience a ring of rubble that stretched for miles. Through the weathering and dust, the sun continued to reflect from its surface. The lines are always shifting. At times, space is ours. At times, space is theirs. The wave of time. When the piano was ours, we played our songs. When they held it, we listened to theirs. Many of the songs were the same. But then this one point, centered around the piano, became shiftless as the lines flapped on either side of it. <laughs> there was nothing left for them to fight for. They stopped sharing. At night, they played their own songs and waited for death. So we listened. It was music, after all. We let it continue until one day the last of us who could play stepped on one of our own minds. I was the one who went. I ratted through the sewers. We had the maps, you see. And vodka, how could they win? Always we could find our way behind the lines when we wanted. And the vodka, it was our secret weapon. It was more important than food. It kept us alive, the vodka. Food, when there was food, if we could taste it, we sent it back. Flavor would dull our senses, remind us of our bodies. The vodka, we would drink to just that point where it killed the thoughts, leaving only instinct, the breath of life. Each dose, it was a thing you learned. Not enough, too much. Your life depended upon reaching that point where intellect slept and instincts walked alone. I took two bottles and half a loaf of bread made from sawdust. 
I came up behind the lines as the moon sung full and bright, its face tickled by wind-swept clouds. Shadows moved and danced within the twisted circle of the courtyard. I listened and watched, waited three days, hidden in the rubble. One morning, they all rallied to defend this space, and I wired a charge to the last note they would ever hear. It was long ago, and now... They tell us this is no longer Stalingrad, but this city is rubble. The lines are always shifting. I listen to your music. My grandchildren eat bread made from sawdust. I drink vodka and watch instincts grow. <laughs> <laughs>